New tonight, dozens of people gathered in the district to remember a woman killed during a night out on U Street Northwest. Friends, family, and members of the LGBTQ community gathered for a vigil in honor of Anae Roberson. Police say Roberson, a Chan transgender woman, was deliberately pushed into the path of an oncoming van. Tonight, detectives are still searching for the person responsible for her death. News Force's Jackie Benson has the latest on the investigation and also shows us how the D.C. community is honoring Roberson's memory. Save her name! Dozens gathered on the sidewalk in front of Nelly's Sports Bar on U Street to remember Anae Roberson as a proud transgender woman who used her strength to make others feel welcome and accepted. Many had tears in their eyes as her father, Gary, described his love for his child and his reaction to learning of Anae's gender identity when she was 13. Don't hide. One thing you're not going to do is be in the closet. That's right. Okay? Right? Anae took those words and grew with those words. Anae, up until last week, was the way she wanted to be. Pink candles were held by those who gathered. Activists mingled with friends and even some people who did not know Anae but wanted to show their horror and outrage at her murder. In the early morning hours of October 14th, D.C. police were flagged down by witnesses who said a woman had been assaulted and then struck by a van. The driver remained on the scene. D.C. police have released these images of a man described as a person of interest in Roberson's murder. We fight with dignity. Speak, ma'am. We fight discrimination at an all-time high. Speak. We belong to our people. Detectives would also like to hear from any businesses along this street that may have video of any aspect of this who have not yet reached out to them. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4.